Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Welcomer Windows Trojan. This was written and submitted to me by a user named No Boot Device, so thank you for sending this one in. It's actually really cool. Uh, it's pretty simplistic, but it has a really neat graphical effect, and was actually written in Auto Hotkey as a script, which is neat. Uh, so he sent both the uh, script file and a compiled exe file. Unfortunately, the exe does not work. But... The script does create the exe on its own, so using that we'll be able to successfully infect the system. So we're just going to go ahead and run this script. I've left it on here. You can pause the video if you really want to rewrite it by hand. And here we go. We'll go ahead and run the script now. So that's all it takes for Welcomer to infect your system. And now we need to wait a random amount of time, and we should see it start to mess with our system. Here we go. So basically it loops into every window and then moves every frame in that window in a random direction a random amount of times. Which uh, as you can see is pretty screwy. It's uh, moving the desktop around and our taskbar is getting kind of messed up. Um, go ahead and run a few files here. Calculator is a really cool one to see this on. It also changes the uh, text in every frame that it finds to Welcome to Hell. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty screwy, but it looks really cool. I guess technically you could try to still use calculator, but, um, it's kind of impossible. Run Windows Media Player. Instead of our recommended settings, we'll be, uh, welcoming to hell. And basically this happens on every window. Uh, we can't view our time and date settings right now, unfortunately. Uh, oh, there they are. Try and change the time and date. Changes to welcome to hell. All in all, it's a really uh, not complicated script, but it's very effective at being very annoying and really cool looking. And a uh, few things, task manager and command prompt are disabled. So all of our windows are called welcome to hell. And just by clicking in the window, it's uh, disabled, as the script specifically looks for it and disables it. Oh yeah, we can't close it because the window is disabled anyway. If we run command prompt, um, clicking in it is disabled, but we can still type, so... We can still navigate directories and hopefully attempt to uh, remove this... Can we run regedit? Oh, nice. I don't know, I don't think it affects the text in regedit, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it does, the window doesn't move, but... All in all, it's a very cool Trojan, we'll go ahead and restart. Restart, and we'll see that it does activate on boot up. Okay, we're booted back into our system. And uh, with any luck, it won't take long for the Trojan to start activating again. Well, our task manager window is already disabled. There we go. So in no time at all, all of our windows will start to move and welcome us to hell once again. So thank you, no boot device, for writing and sending this one in. I had a lot of fun playing around with it before making the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you have a file you would like to submit or have any questions about submitting files you can view the links in the description to my website and forums where you will find all the information you need to know to submit your own Trojan or virus or whatever that you would like to be featured in a video on this channel. So thank you for watching, take care.